uh, how frustrating that is. Ohio Secretary of State data shows that more than four and a half million women are part of our workforce. But those women all face the same barrier due to their gender. Doing the same job, you have the same amount of education, perhaps even the same experience, past experience. And you learn that you still have not been paid in an equal way. In 2023, Helen Forbes Fields with the YWCA Greater Cleveland hoped she wouldn't still be debating the wage gap. And even the fight for equal pay has inequities inside. For Black women have higher education as a group, uh, but one of the lowest paid. The U.S. Department of Labor found that on average to a white non-Hispanic man's dollar earned, Asian women make 92 cents, white women earn 79, black women make 67, and Hispanic women earn 58. Indigenous women are not calculated, but the American Association of University Women found that Native women earned 51 cents compared to white men. Democratic State Rep Jessica Miranda wants to change this. Women's pay equity is very, very lacking behind where it should be here in Ohio. She put forward a bill to address this issue. It would stop employers from prohibiting their employees from talking about salary, stop employers from requesting a prospective employee's current wage, and require businesses who receive state money to get an equal pay certificate to show that the employer offers growth opportunities to all employees regardless of gender. There are no public opponents to the bill, but this isn't the first time it's been introduced. The bill failed to move during the last General Assembly. Pay equity should not be a partisan issue. What I hope is that the males that uh, are looking at these types of laws, remember, they have mothers, they have sisters, they have daughters who all have the right to pursue their passions and to pursue higher uh, wage earning jobs. Democrats are hopeful the bill will get hearings this year. At the State House, I'm Morgan Trow reporting.